welcome back to another video if you're new my name is emma and i post videos revolving my nursing school experience and my overall college life so it is officially week 14 of the semester i do not know how that's possible but we've almost made it through an entire semester and it feels like it started yesterday tomorrow i have the biggest checkoff of nursing school in my opinion it's the head to toe checkoff and i'm so nervous but i practiced pretty good amount and I feel like I know my stuff it's just like I'm so scared like I don't know I feel like it's so much pressure I go tomorrow at 9 30 for my check off but my check off is at 9 30 tomorrow and my partner is doing me at 10 so we just go back to back um and I have my uniform set up here or my scrubs and I have to change into like a patient outfit because right after because I'm going to be my patient my partner's patient right after she's my patient so we kind of have to like swap roles yeah i'm just really nervous and if you're not a nursing student basically a head to toe check off is where you assess every single part of the body from head to toe and for our school i'm sure most schools are like this but for my program we have to like um narrate everything we're doing and explain why we're doing it and the normal findings that we're expecting to hear and see and feel stuff like that so it's definitely a lot we can't take any longer than 20 minutes i'm so nervous i'm just really hoping for the best and then i have my dosage calculation exam on tuesday and that determines whether or not we can pass meds and clinical so that's also a really big deal and this is the last big week of my semester yeah and the rest of the semester is just normal we have you know our weekly exams and stuff like that but this is like my last like high stakes like big big exam week if that makes sense so here's my schedule for this week so um tomorrow i just have my head to toe check off and i'm so nervous and i want to start my drug table um because i have a drug table for farm due this week and i want to study my dosage cal because i have my dosage exam on tuesday um finish my uh, study guide for health assessment because we have our asynchronous exam on to um it's due on tuesday so i'm gonna do it on tuesday study that study guide uh workout and then i have volunteered to be a patient for the np students as like an example for them so i'm um, doing that for three hours which is kind of crazy but i did volunteer and i get a gift card so that's kind of fun tuesday i'm gonna do my health assessment exam in the morning because it's asynchronous since we're doing my head to toe on monday and then um I have essentials and then my dosage calculation exam and essentials and I'm so nervous and I farm and before that I want to study for the dosage obviously um, continue my drug table do my health assessment exam asynchronously and then work out and then Wednesday I have an advising appointment at 11 a.m. to meet with my advisor about like my summer classes and stuff like that that I'm gonna do I want to finish my drug table do my farm Hesse oh i think I, I meant to write eaq this is supposed to say eaq not hesse i already did my hesse's i need to fix that anyway pretend that says eaq and then mimi and i are gonna go play tennis on wednesday because we've been really into tennis and it's, it's so much fun and the weather's been so nice thursday um i want to start my bioethics final paper because it's due on may 1st and that's like my last like big assignment for bioethics and then i want to work out my do my bioethics week 14 study for essentials um my volume two of the hesse for essentials because i do have to retake that one friday work continue bioethics paper saturday work continue paper sunday work continue paper i didn't write that but and i want to work out these days as well i'm going to sleep i am so nervous from my head to toe i'm like literally so scared like, I'm just scared that I'm going to forget everything once I go, like, to actually do it in front of my instructors. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to go well. And, like, luckily we do have the chance to remediate if we need to, but I don't want to have to do that. I'd rather get it one and done. Wish me luck. I'm so nervous, but it's going to be okay. It's going to get done. No matter what, time goes on. Things are going to get done. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is now the next day. It is 7.45 and I'm leaving for campus. I'm gonna meet my partner and we're gonna practice our head to toe before our checkoff today. I go at 9.30, she goes at 10. So we're gonna be sw switching roles. So um, she's gonna be my patient at first and then I'm gonna be her patient. And I'm so nervous, but I kind of just went through it like in my head. When I was in the shower, I kind of just said the entire thing. And I think I'm feeling pretty okay. Once I practice on her a couple times this morning, I'll feel a lot more prepared. I'm just, really i just want to get it over with um i really do because <laughs> it's been hanging over my head like pretty much all semester hey we're heading out the door wish me luck I'm hoping for the best i think it's gonna be okay um it always ends up being okay it always gets done it's gonna be okay i'm literally so nervous it's gonna be fine i can 
do good. We're gonna get it done on the first try and we won't have to remediate and it's all gonna be okay. Okay, it's later in the day. It is 11.57 and I got 100% on my head to toe assessment and I'm so happy. I was so nervous. My partner and I ran through it on each other right before and I was just like so incredibly nervous and I was like really shaky the whole time but I made sure to hit every single point and I was able to do so and I got 100. I was so, so happy and grateful. So overall, a very successful morning so far. And then we came to the study room after, which is just where I am right now. And we kind of went through like our dosage calculation practice um, assignments because we have our dosage and calculation exam tomorrow. So we kind of wanted to like study and like prepare for that as much as we can. So we did that and I'm gonna finish up my study guide for my health assessment exam because I'm gonna take that tomorrow. And I'm almost done. I only have like mm, two more things to cover for that. I wanna start my drug table for farm and um, study my health assessment study guide once I finish it and then work out after I volunteer for the NP students later. And I wanna get as much done as I can before I volunteer because that's going to take up a lot of my time um and i just want to like kind of make sure i get a lot of steps on like before then so i can work out when i get back to my apartment so we're going to go ahead and finish up our health assessment study guide so then we can use that to study campus for seven hours and I'm so hungry but I'm about to make dinner and I just finished my volunteering thing for the NP students and I was a patient for like either six or seven different students and they all did an assessment on me it was pretty much like a version of their like check off for advanced assessment it was a very long session but I'm glad I did it because I was able to help them and I'm going to be in their shoes one day hopefully because I want to be an NP so overall it was really nice but um i'm about to make dinner and then i'm gonna go to the gym later between my head to toe this morning and my volunteering thing i got a lot of work done so i could like kind of spend the evening you know going to the gym and kind of more like relaxing afterwards so I'm really glad about that because i'm just really tired and i want to eat I'm back to my apartment i showered after the gym and i had some dessert i had some ice cream and it's so good ice cream is my absolute favorite but um, I'm looking at my blackboard and I got 100% on my head to toe today, but it didn't change my grade and the head to toe is worth 30% of our final grade. So I'm like, why? Maybe it's not weighted. Like maybe it'll be weighted at the end, but I'm just like, how is 100% not gonna change my grade if it's 30% of the final grade? So it must not be weighted. Like that's what I'm hoping for. I had a really good day and tomorrow's gonna be super productive. I'm gonna take my health assessment exam tomorrow. I'm gonna go to the library in the morning. And I'm gonna study for a bit and then take the exam. And then I'll be done with health assessment because that's my last thing for health assessment. So I'm really happy. And here's a little list of stuff I have to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna do my health assessment exam. Um, I have essentials, my dosage exam, farm lecture, and before those, I'm gonna do um, studying for my dosage exam, um, continue my drug table for farm, uh you know my health assessment exam obviously and work out i'm going to sleep it is 10 40 we're gonna have such a productive day tomorrow we're gonna do great on our health assessment exam and we're gonna do great on our dosage calculation exam so wish me luck i'll see you guys in the morning good morning it is 7 35 a.m and i'm making my coffee for this morning i'm actually gonna show you guys how i make my oats because you guys deserve to try this recipe yeah i'm making my coffee because I need some coffee to get through the day because during the beginning of the semester I was like I'm only gonna have coffee on the days I don't have clinical in the class because um like my heart rate and stuff but it's gotten a lot better and I honestly at this point in the semester I need coffee every day so that's why I've been having it every single day. What you need is a one-third cup and a tablespoon in terms of like measurements that's what you need you need cinnamon chia seeds honey oats and almond butter I just tried this almond butter for the first time this week and it's pretty good and then you need raspberries blueberries and strawberries so what i like to do first is prep my fruit but that doesn't really matter you can just do it in 
whatever order you want. But I just like to do the fruit first. grab any bowl. I am um, I've always used this sunflower mug as a bowl, so I'm gonna use this one. Take one third cup of oats. Take a tablespoon of chia seeds. Kind of just dash some cinnamon on there. Like I put like a pretty good amount because I love cinnamon. You mix this part and then it should just look like that. And then you want to add enough water to like pretty much touch every single oat. So like it's always kind of like a rough estimate. It's kind of hard sometimes. Probably gonna have to add more than this, but cover the top layer of the oats like this much. And you want to put this in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. As you can see, the oats pretty much just absorb the water. So then you want to add all the fruit on top. So here's my oats. They look so good and I'm so excited to eat. And then my coffee. So very good breakfast. What I like about my oats is that they don't make me feel super bloated afterwards. Like, I don't feel, like I'm very full. Like they definitely satisfy me, but they don't make me feel like gross. Okay, I'm about to leave for campus. We're gonna have such a great day. We're gonna get so much done. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I have my gray Brandy baby tee, garage, white sweatshorts, and my new Carolina blue dunks. And they're so cute. It's much later in the day. It is 10.08 and I'm about to go to sleep, but I had my dosage calculation exam and I got a hundred percent and I'm so happy. There was 20 questions and I kind of wrote every single one out on my scrap paper and I worked through all of them, showed my math and everything. And I, my instructor was like, oh my gosh, like it looks so pretty. And I was like, thank you. He's like, thank you for being such a good student. And I was like, <laughs> so I just had my last lectures of the semester. Like I did not realize that today I had my last two lectures. I thought I had more like next week, but no. I'm gonna be retaking my fundamentals one, but then I don't have lecture at all next week. So I don't have any more material to learn. So that's insane. We have two chapters of form left, but she's gonna do voiceovers for next week instead of like actual lecture. I took my health assessment exam this morning in the library and didn't get my score back yet. So I'm not sure how I did, but I think I did okay. Um, I should be getting my score back hopefully by next week and then after I got back to my apartment I had a little yogurt bowl and then I went to the gym and it was really nice to work out and I came back showered had dinner dessert and I've just been relaxing I've been watching some Netflix in bed I'm going to sleep now it is 10 52 and I'm so tired it's been such a long day but I'm ready to go to sleep I head down to the gym. I just had some yummy breakfast. I had some oats and they were super good. And we're gonna have a great day. I'm excited to work out. When I get back from the gym, I'm gonna shower, get ready for the day. Probably go to the library where I am like all the time. I need to do my farm EAQ, my um, essentials EAQ, and then start my study guide for essentials for my last essential exam. And start my concept map, like my care plan for my nursing home clinicals. I don't know what it's due, but I'm just gonna try to do it by the end of the day. I've been all in my phone, I got options. And I don't wanna tell you to drop me. But I don't wanna play your fan, yeah. Something that makes me look at you too out there. Baby, you can give us something. Talking crazy, I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends but I... I'm leaving for campus I actually bought a Starlight Apple Watch band Because I absolutely love this color And like, 
I love how it goes with everything since it's neutral, but it's still like really pretty. I also ordered like these cases for my Apple Watch because I always hit my arm on stuff. Like, especially when I'm at work, I always like bang my arm against something and I've already broken an Apple Watch in the past. It's much later in the day. I'm making dinner. I'm making a bowl with um, spinach, sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and shrimp and avocado. And I have my um, sweet potatoes in the air fryer right now. Mimi and I just went to Home Goods and Marshalls. At Marshalls, I got a really cute tumbler, like travel tumbler for my hot coffee when I want to like have it on the go. Um, so I got a really cute one. It's like brown leopard print and it's like right up my alley. We're gonna have a movie night together. We're gonna watch Princess and the Frog and I'm so excited. It's such a fun night and I got so much done today so I don't really have to do any studying right now like tonight and that's like that's a very rare occurrence because I'm always feeling the need to study for something. I literally just have some relaxation time because we're nearing the end of the semester and I only have two exams left so it's like perfect. morning it's down the next day it is thursday april 16th at 7 55 a.m and i'm having my breakfast made a big bowl of oats so i'm really excited um and we're gonna have a great day today the weather is super nice today and i'm gonna get so much work done mimi and i are gonna go play tennis later so i'm really excited and today i'm gonna film my q a video that i've been meaning to do for a long time um it's just like i couldn't find the right time to do it because i had everything going on like with my hessies my dosage cap, my head to toe, my anniversary. It was like just a lot of stuff going on in April so far. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm making my lunch right now and I'm packing a salad. I just have a bunch of spinach in here, chickpeas, olives, and tomatoes. I'm gonna put some avocado in a baggie and put it with this as well. And then I got some vegan Caesar dressing from Trader Joe's that I wanna try. I wanted to get the Green Goddess, but they didn't have any at the Trader Joe's near me. So I got the vegan Caesar. So I'm really excited to try this because it actually looks really good and I wanted to try it for a long time. So our lunch is super yummy today. Bunch of whole ingredients. Um, packing, of course, my almonds, a couple peanut butter cups and an orange. I'm leaving for campus. We're gonna have such a great day. I have my coffee. And it's super nice weather today. It's like high of 78 and sunny. So it's like perfect. And Alina's gonna meet me at the library later. So little girl's day. And then Mimi and I are gonna go play tennis later. And I'm so excited. I'm leaving campus. I'm going back to my apartment. I just watched my St. Jude's lecture and it was very scientific. Like it was kind of hard to follow because I had a lot of names of different chromosomes and genes and genomes and stuff. I was like, so I didn't understand a lot of it, but it was very fascinating. I did my last discussion board for bioethics. So I'm almost done with that class. I just need to write my final paper, but I did start writing my final paper today. I don't know if I mentioned, but I had an advisor meeting yesterday and it went really well. I talked to my advisor and he, he's great. I've met with him since I, before I even started college. So he's been very helpful and he gave me some guidance on my summer classes because I'm taking two summer classes. I'm taking English and IT. So it's like the way I talk about nursing, he can tell I'm super passionate about it. And that just means so much to me to hear. I had my salad today, it was so good. Good morning, I'm at my house. It is 7.30 and I'm making my breakfast. I packed my oats, got my almond butter and my berries here. I slept so good last night. I always sleep so good when I'm in my bed at home. And I had Sunny sleep with me last night, so that was fun. I get ready for work um, at around 8.40, um, so I can leave around 9.40. We're gonna have a great day at work, so.